welcome back to my channel so i have a weird but interesting video for you guys today and it's all about the water foundation method and i've seen a couple of this video all over youtube and also instagram so i'm not really sure who to give credit to but it's all about submerging your face inside water after you're done with your normal foundation routine but the thing is while doing your foundation routine you just need to saturate your whole face with a certain powder you can either use Laura Mercier translucent powder or any certain powder of your choice so once you do that then you just go and submerge your face inside the water and it's believed to give you that very nice flawless airbrush look as you all can see like seriously I don't want to spill the bean for you guys in this video I want you guys to watch the video see me dip my face inside the water and just you know follow along with the whole method and just let me know what you think in the comment section if it's something you would like to try out or if it's something you will not you know even try to try out you guys yeah guys I hope you all enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit that like button below and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and if you want to see what this method is all about then definitely keep on watching alright beauty so now we're gonna start off with our foundation routine and you're supposed to do your foundation routine just as you would you know your normal foundation routine but the only difference is when it comes to the under eye setting powder you have to saturate this all over your face and supposedly this is supposed to like wear off and give you that very nice airbrush flawless skin by the time you submerge your face inside the water so i'm so excited like i've never been so excited for a video because i know if this works like seriously you guys this will be the new in thing you know because i will just be submerging my face inside water because like who doesn't like that flawless airbrush skin like I'm, i just hope this works i will apply my makeup forever step one skin equalizer on my t-zone and areas where i produce oil and then i'll apply this um primer from mac all over my face and of course you guys i'll run through this foundation routine because i just posted my foundation routine i think like a week or two weeks ago so i will leave a card right here in case if you want to see my flawless foundation routine So once I have my primer on, the next thing will be to cover up my dark spots and my blemishes and I love to use a dark brown concealer. So I'll be using this one from my Freedom Makeup Pro Conceal and Correct Palette. It's time for the foundation and I'll be applying my Kat Von D Lucky Tattoo Foundation in Deep 71 with my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki Brush. So once I have my foundation on, the next thing will be to apply my concealer and I'll be applying my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Cool Tan and I'll basically just apply it on my under eye, my chin and also my forehead. So this is the start of the show and I will have to generously apply it all over my face, my under eye, my chin, my forehead, everywhere on my face and I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So once you're done with saturating your whole face with a setting powder, the next thing will be to go and submerge our face in the water and I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how this works out. Come on, let's go. Okay, here we go. I'm scared and I'm excited at the same time. Woo! Oh my god you guys my eyes hurt so bad oh I don't know if I should dab my face or just allow it to dry oh all the things we do for beauty but this is too much Ooh. oh 
my gosh you guys this really do give a very nice flawless finish although you dipped your face inside the water but still my face just dried up and became very very matte you guys so i feel like dipping your face inside the water just made the the makeup set right into your pores thereby giving you that very nice airbrush finish like seriously you guys i'm surprised but still i can see some patches of uh, makeup all over my face so i guess i will just have to dust it off with my setting powder but yeah you guys i will go ahead and finish up with the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back to tell you guys what i think about this method because from what i'm seeing right here it's amazing oh my gosh wow all right you guys so here we are with the finished look like seriously i have a mixed feeling when it comes to this method like the first time when i came out from the water i was like I, like when i was looking at my face it was horrible i had patches and i can't just explain it but seriously after like i would say like after 10 15 minutes i i noticed that like my face started drying up everything dried up and then you know i could see a very nice like smooth canvas but then i still had like some patches of powder so what i did was i used my um powder brush to brush up all the white particles i could i could see on my face and then i went in with my powder i just you know dabbed my brush inside my powder and just used it to set my whole face and after that like seriously you guys this is it like after i set my face of course i went in i contoured i applied my blush my lipstick my brows and you know i just finished up the rest of my face i don't know i would say i would i would give this method maybe 70% because like seriously it's it's hard work it's a lot of hassle you know going into dipping your face in the water having to wait for like 15 20 minutes for your face to dry and like it's a lot but you know at the end of the day you guys you can see my face everything just comes out so good yeah guys I believe that is basically it I just wanted to challenge myself with this because I've seen a couple of videos with people doing it and I was like you know seriously I had to try it out and see if it would work for me. I hope you all found this video helpful and don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and also help me share this video so a lot of people can see you know the new trend going around and also of course don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and till my next video I will see you all very very soon.